Bitcoin Technology Fundamentals, I am Ami Teshragwar, I am PhD Scholar. In this tutorials series we will learn Bitcoin Technology Fundamentals. In this tutorial, we will be learning about Bitcoin Improvement Proposals. Hope you have checked our previous tutorials on Bitcoin Addresses, Bitcoin Network, and Bitcoin Mining, Bitcoin Improvement Proposals. As we know Bitcoin is open source and unstructured. No formal agreements are there which could say what it should look like. Bitcoin improvement proposals are documents that lay out design improvements for Bitcoin. The Bitcoin community is working on improvements so Bitcoin can also be modified functionality, having new features or could be better or new information on Bitcoin. The first BIP, BIP-0001, was submitted by Amir Taki on August 19, 2011 and described what a BIP is. Bitcoin Improvement Proposal, BIP, is a design document for introducing features or information to Bitcoin. The BIP should provide a concise technical specification of the attribute and a rationale for the feature. This is the standard way of communicating ideas since Bitcoin has no formal structure. There are three kinds of Bitcoin Improvement Proposals. BIP. 1. Standard track BIP Such types of BIPs entail making changes to the network protocol, block, or transaction validation method. It also intends to affect the interoperability of the two versions of BIPs or Bitcoin. This type of BIP certainly requires community consensus. An example of this is BIP 91. 2. Informational BIP Such types of BIPs highlight the design issues, general guidelines, and supporting information. Informational BIPs, as the name suggests, are just for information's sake and can be taken seriously or ignored by the community. An example of this is BIP 32. 3. Process BIP These types of BIPs describe or propose a change in the process. They are similar to standards track BIPs and require community consensus. They can't be ignored, but unlike standards track BIPs, they intend to be applied outside the Bitcoin protocol. An example of this is BIP 2. BIP 0001, 2011, first BIP, describes a BIP in the workflow. BIP 0001 is available for review. A full list of BIP to date, more than 150, can be reviewed online. BIP life cycle according to the type of BIP it is, it may require community consensus. But even before this consensus, when any of the above types of BIPs are submitted, they go through various statuses such as, drafted, verified, accepted and rejected, or replaced. Shown is a BIP life cycle in which typical paths of the statuses of a BIP are shown. Given GitHub link has details. HTTPS colon slash slash github.com slash bitcoin slash bips slash blob slash master. Readme.media wiki. There are two main types of programming forks, hard and soft. Hard fork wishlist. A hard fork is a change to a protocol that renders older versions invalid. If older versions continue running, they will end up with a different protocol and with different data than the newer version. This can lead to significant confusion and possible error. With Bitcoin, a hard fork would be necessary to change defining parameters such as the block size, the difficulty of the cryptographic puzzle that needs to be solved, limits to additional information that can be added, etc. A change to any of these rules would cause blocks to be accepted by the new protocol but rejected by older versions and could lead to serious problems, possibly even a loss of funds. For instance, if the block size limit were to be increased from 1 megabyte to 4 megabytes, a 2 megabytes block would be accepted by nodes running the new version, but rejected by nodes running the older version. Let's say that this 2 megabytes block is validated by an updated node and added onto the blockchain. What if the next block is validated by a node running an older version of the protocol? It will try to add its block to the blockchain, but it will detect that the latest block is not valid. So, it will ignore that block and attach its new validation to the previous one. Suddenly you have two blockchains, one with both older and newer version blocks, and another with only older version blocks. Which chain grows faster will depend on which nodes get the next blocks validated, and there could end up being additional splits. 
it is feasible that the two, or more, chains could grow in parallel indefinitely. This is a hard fork, and it's potentially messy. It's also risky, as it's possible that Bitcoin spent in a new block could then be spent again on an old block, since merchants, wallets and users running the previous code would not detect the spending on the new code, which they deem invalid. The only solution is for one branch to be abandoned in favor of the other, which involves some miners losing out. The transactions themselves would not be lost, they'd just be reallocated. Or, all nodes would need to switch to the newer version at the same time, which is difficult to achieve in a decentralized, widely spread system. Or, Bitcoin splits, which has happened, hello, Bitcoin Cash. Hard Fork Wishlist, HW, is a collection of information about proposed changes to Bitcoin. Unlike BIPs, HW would force a hard split of the blockchain. Everyone needs to upgrade not backward compatible. Old software won't accept new transactions, treated as invalid blocks it is a wish list. In given link you can find details. https colon slash slash n dot bitcoin dot it slash wiki slash. A soft fork can still work with older versions. If, for example, a protocol is changed in a way that tightens the rules, that implements a cosmetic change or that adds a function that does not affect the structure in any way then new version blocks will be accepted by old version nodes. Not the other way around, though, the newer, tighter version would reject old version blocks. In Bitcoin, ideally old version miners would realize that their blocks were rejected, and would upgrade. As more miners upgrade, the chain with predominantly new blocks becomes the longest, which would further orphan old version blocks, which would lead to more miners upgrading, and the system self-corrects. Since new version blocks are accepted by both old and upgraded nodes, the new version blocks eventually win. For instance, say the community decided to reduce the block size to half a megabyte from the current limit of 1 megabyte. New version nodes would reject 1 megabyte blocks, and would build on the previous block, if it was mined with an updated version of the code, which would cause a temporary fork. This is a soft fork, and it's already happened several times. Initially, Bitcoin didn't have a block size limit. Introducing the limit of 1 megabyte was done through a soft fork, since the new rule was stricter than the old one. The pay to script hash function, which enhances the code without changing the structure, was also successfully added through a soft fork. This type of amendment generally requires only the majority of miners to upgrade, which makes it more feasible and less disruptive. Soft forks do not carry the double spend risk that plagues hard forks, since merchants and users running old nodes will read both new and old version blocks. Soft Fork Wishlist, SW, is a place for information about changes to Bitcoin. Unlike HW, SW force a soft split of the blockchain. Requires a consensus of miners. Consensus decides to reject valid blocks. Old software will consider new transactions as being payable to anybody. But can't be redeemed and will be rejected by clients. It is a wishlist. In given link you can find details https colon slash slash n dot bitcoin dot it slash wiki slash thank you for attending the tutorial on bitcoin improvement proposals the next tutorial we will upload soon on bitcoin explorers